Hello, welcome to this short video in which I'm going to tell you what is a switch in networking. Hello, my name is Roger Perkin and in the next five minutes you are going to learn what is a switch and how does it work. So this is what a switch looks like, um, one of the uh, switches that you can buy. So this is a Netgear 5 port switch and these ports on the front are called Ethernet ports or RJ45 ports. This is also a switch, or these are also switches. These are Cisco enterprise level switches. These are a lot more money and they have hundreds and hundreds of ports and are used to connect computers in offices together. And computers connect into switches using Ethernet cables or RJ45 cables. And now we're going to move on to the explanation of how does a switch work. So a switch is a bit different than a hub. You may have heard the term hub. Um, hub is an older device in which all the data going from every device is sent out to every port in that switch. A switch um, is a bit more clever and only sends the data over to the device that actually wants it and not out to all the other devices. So let's just give you a quick example of how that works. So in my example, I've got PC A, B, C and D. They're connected into the switch, one into each port. And if PC A wants to send some data down to PC D, uh, we won't go into too much detail on how that's addressed, but it would put the address of PC D in the header and this data would then come into the switch and it would know that it's destined for PC D. But initially, the switch doesn't know where PCD is. If this is a, a brand new network, these have just been plugged in and nothing has talked before. So what happens is the data would come from PCA to the switch. And in the days of the hub, this data was then sent out to every single port that was connected. And it was up to each PC to get that information and then decide whether it was for that device or not. Now, if the address of the PC was not in the header of the data, it would say, well, that's not for me. I need to discard that and it would throw it away. The device that it was targeted for, in this case, PCD would say, yep, that's for me. And I'm going to reply back to PCA. Now with a hub, it would do that all the time, over and over and over again. So every bit of data that was coming out of every device was sent out to all ports. So it made the, the hub very busy. In a switch, it's more clever, and the switch tries to make up a map of which device is connected out of which port. So in this example, that data for PCB and PCC was not for them, so they discarded it, and PCD now is going to reply back to PCA and in that operation of doing that the switch has now been able to make a map and it's been able to map that PCA is connected into port 1 and PCD is connected into port 2. So every other communication now between PCA and PCD will only go between these two ports and it will not have to be sent out of the other ports to PCB and PCC and any other devices that might be connected. So I hope that that very simple explanation has told you what a switch is and how it works. So you just need to remember that a hub, um, very rarely are hubs are used nowadays. Um, they are mostly switches in computer networks and a hub would send all the data out of every port to every device and let the devices discard that data. And with a switch, the switch uses a mapping process to map each PC or laptop or device, whatever device is connected. And it uses what's called a MAC address and it creates a map within the switch tying each MAC address of the devices to which port. So whenever any data comes into the switch, it knows where it needs to send it and only sends it out of that device. So I hope that's explained it for you. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin, as I said. I am CCI number 50,038. I'm actually a network and security consultant based in the UK. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see any more just hit the subscribe button where I do go into a lot more depth into computer network automation, uh, Ansible Python and there are lots of tutorials on my website rogerperkin.co.uk where you can follow through my journey towards becoming a CCIE. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.